In our latest story in our Taste of Home series, we visited Habasha Ethiopian and Eritrean restaurant in Cleveland to see how cuisine, culture and community all come together in one delicious and inviting space. The name uh, means Havesha the Bibo, Bibo from that side of uh, the world. A name can hold a lot of meaning. That's certainly the case at Havesha Ethiopian and Eritrean restaurant in Cleveland. Havesha, a way to refer to a people and more importantly, a community. Somebody can be from uh, Eritrea, call him Havesha. Somebody can be from Ethiopia, we call him Havesha. Ethiopia and Eritrea, two neighboring countries who didn't always get along. In the late 90s, the countries were at war. Jamal Musa forced to flee Eritrea, becoming a refugee. It's not easy uh, to leave your country and come to a stranger country, but uh, there were a need at that time. Musa found his way to Cleveland, connecting with two other refugees, now his business partners. It was our passion to cook. It was our dream to have our own business. Together, they wanted to bring the flavors of home to Northeast Ohio. After selling at farmer's markets, they opened their restaurant on the west side of Cleveland in 2020 to a warm welcome. They enjoy the food. They come from far away just to have the food here. And we have a lot of people that they never had this kind of food, so they are excited. Sean Rutan is always willing to make the trip for an experience he says is just as good as what's on the menu. They almost treat you like family. Um, they know me by name. They talk, hey, what's going on? They know what I order. It's, it's fantastic. A popular item, Sega tubes, beef simmered in awaze sauce, made with berbere, which mixes a number of spices, including chili, ginger, cloves, and cinnamon, served up with a layer of injera, a thin bread made of teff and barley with vegetables like lentils and split peas on top. So this is how we serve it. As I found, the injera makes a perfect all-purpose utensil. This is all delicious home-cooked food made with love, and you can really tell. It's also food that's meant to bring people together. When you have people around you, you sharing the food, it means a lot, you know. Exemplified by the tradition of feeding one another out of care. We call this a gursha. So it's just a symbol of, you know, getting close to each other or in a family. And attending a traditional coffee ceremony. Habesha, Ethiopian and Eritrean restaurant is a celebration of the foods of two countries and the strength of community. Well, Jamal runs the restaurant with his wife, Tijis, and their friend, Hiriti. Again, they opened the restaurant in 2020, kind of right in the thick of the pandemic. So he's hoping to keep focusing on growing that business. And I mean, I'm sure we're going to see even bigger and better things yeah. from them in mm -hmm. the years to come because they graciously gave us some food here and it is so delicious. Oh my gosh. So here okay. we have, this is Sambusa. They're kind of, it's a minced meat, very savory, pretty mild in this delicious kind of lightly fried, delicate pastry. It's and I have so to ask, good. what kind of sauce would you dip that in? Like what is paired with it? So he was telling me that really depending on what the customer wants. Is it something that's spicy? It can get okay. pretty spicy. Mm. This one, I think they very graciously given us more of a smoky, okay. Okay, cool. mild one. Uh, but he, he did mention, you know what, the food can be pretty spicy yeah. in this cuisine, but of course they cater to whatever the, the customer really would like. I'm mm. not a spicy girl, but I want to try it. Isabel, can I try it? Oh, it was so good. I mean, be my guest. Can, yeah, you want to try? Okay. okay. My apologies, I didn't, I didn't heat it up, but imagine it's still crisp and crisp and <laughs> right out of the oven, delicious. Mm. It's good. Right? It's good. A little ground meat, like some it. onions, yeah. some spices in there. Yeah, thank you so really much. A lot of love in there. I'll, I'll be there when it's fresh and hot off the oven. <laughs> yeah, definitely go there in the Cam's <laughs> Corners neighborhood over on the west side mm -hmm. of Cleveland. And, you know, amazing story of these three refugees who unfortunately had to leave their home countries but have created a new home for themselves here in Northeast Ohio. And I have to ask, because we do these stories all the time with you. Right. And my curiosity is, do people reach out to you and say, hey, I'd love for you to check this place out? Or is this something that you find and, and try to just involve more of the community? And I'm just so curious as to how people, if they know a spot, that can get in touch with you too. 
I mean, I love that idea, Peyton. I would absolutely love if people had their favorite spots and, and reached out. Please do, in fact, if you know those yeah. wonderful traditional restaurants that showcase these cultures. Otherwise, I mean, you know how big of a foodie yes. I am. I love yeah. it. So it's just me on Google a lot of the times, but I'd love your help. Yeah. So great idea, Peyton. Send them our way. Yeah, yeah. please do. In our way. We're always hungry this In summer. the food way. Come on now, guys. This is really good. Uh,